Watch everything now! An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Bienvenidos! Soy Jonks! Hola amigos, what if I just did the whole episode in Spanish? Wouldn't that be interesting? Getting a boo right out of the gate! Got it! Ay Dios mio! Bienvenidos Council, my name is Jonks. You know me, but if you don't, welcome! If you're here tonight, you are part of the council. Yes, the council of Jonks. You, the chat, will help me as travelers come from far and wide, climbing my mountain in search of having their greatest desires realized. Yes, I have the magic power to grant their wishes, but ultimately you, the council, hold an even greater power, which is to decide whether or not I'm allowed to use my powers. A traveler will make their way to the top of my mountain, and when they do, we're gonna have a little chat. I'm gonna ask them some questions, you all will get to ask them some questions. We're gonna get to know them, sort of get a sense of their whole vibe, figure out whether or not they are worthy of having their wish granted. And then you will vote, Council, in a democratic process, wherein you will decide whether or not their wish gets granted. If so, we will say the magic words, Wibbity Wobbity Wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. <laughs> and if not, we don't really have a thing for that. They just kind of leave. We say bye. We just say goodbye. Get back in line. Of course, that's not the only way things can end here at the top of my mountain. You'll notice in the top left-hand corner of the screen that for five dollars, you can sacrifice a traveler to me. And I will eat them, blood, bones, and all. Yummy, yummy. Yes, if a particular traveler is getting on your nerves, or if you feel that they must be killed in order to protect the safety of the world or the universe, or if they're just kind of bad vibes, donate $5 and I will eat them. Unless somebody then pays to save them, and then we will create a bidding war, which is great for us. So let's shoot for that. Of course, there are other ways that you can interact tonight. If you join the Discord, which we probably forgot to put a link to in the chat, uh, you can submit images that will be used as bonus wishes. Can we pull up the graphic for what that'll look like? Yeah. Cool. Right now? Yeah, I was just, oh. as an example. Okay. It'll look like this. <laughs> this person would have won two hot versions of me. Two, my two beautiful brothers will hang out with you. Yep. But it could be anything. In fact, it could be something of your own design. If you submit an image in the Discord, do it right now. If you haven't already joined the Everything Now Show Discord, submit an image. We might use yours as a bonus wish during tonight's proceedings. And if you want to give a traveler a bonus wish, use the sound alerts. They're somewhere. It's like a, I think it's like a purple icon. Whoa! VTAC vs. The World, you're getting ahead of me now. I was just about to talk about the subscriptions. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Everything Now Show, because if you do, you get to write a little message in our guest book. Let's show the guest book. Here are some messages from the last time we visited Jonks Mountain. J. Nils said, watch the bear season two. That was a great insight. Thank you for that. I wish for big cheese. Thank, said Internet Crow. They had a wonderful time up here. I gave them big cheese. 
There's some other great messages on here, but we're gonna turn the page now. Get a blank page going. And enter the messages of any subscriber who subscribes tonight during this show. So I think we already had two. We had, uh, Sunbro, I think was one. And then VTAC. So, the two of you, if you'd like to write a message in the guestbook, go ahead. Let us know in the chat what you want to add to the guestbook. We'll put it in there. We'll take a look when that's ready. And you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen that we're now already two subs on our way to our 15-sub goal for the night. If we hit it, we will fly into outer space, and you will have an opportunity to talk to the stars, to wish upon the stars, no less. Thank you, Scott, for helping us reach our goal. We're now already... What is 3 out of 15? A oh, 4 out of 15! Holy shit, nuclear go Oh my god, we're gonna hit it before the show even starts! Thank you! Thank you everybody who's subscribed, we're 4 out of 15. Let's keep this gravy train rolling. Anyway folks, you get it, we'll go into outer space, we'll talk to some celebs, some stars. Um, but in the meantime... We're gonna talk to some travelers who want to have their wishes granted. I think I see one approaching me Jonks? right about now. Uh-oh. Oh boy. I'm you out, Jonks. Uh-oh, oh gosh. Thank I'm you, Swallow. I'm calling Swallem. you out. I'm calling you out, Jonks. Make sure you hit your mark, traveler. I, I'm standing where I want to stand. Uh -huh. I'm calling you out. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. here. Yeah, whoever's it, you get out. I'm calling you out. Who are you, traveler? How dare you speak to me like that? My name is Family Robinson. <laughs> and I'm calling you out, and you know why. I I haven't the slightest idea, Family oh, Robinson. I was, I was here 150 years ago, and you granted me three wishes. One of them was immortality, which is nice. Another one was a whole lot of gold. And I didn't know you were going to put it in my damn pants. <laughs> What am I? <laughs> a what true am I monkey's do? paw. What am I gonna do with this? I, I gotta wear pants. <laughs> what am I? I can't. I can't. Family sell Robinson, these. you did not specify how you would like your gold. Well, how was I supposed to know you didn't want you're giant to, gold pants? I, you're just trying to play a joke on me. Well, I'm calling you out. Before you make any rash decisions, Family Robinson, know this: you've just won a bonus wish. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. So regardless of whether or not we grant your wish today, just know you'll be taking home this wonderful prize. Tell him what he's won. Congratulations, you're taking home 11 outrageous hot dogs. All right, that looks, that looks good. That's awesome. That looks real good. Now, I they are, they're all going to come out at once, so you're going to want to either eat them quick or have oh. some way to reheat those. Well, I'm a little hungry. I haven't eaten in a few days, so I've been trying to get up here. So, okay, well, those are going to come in handy then. Yeah, don't try to change the subject, though. I'm calling you out. I hear you. I'm challenging you to do a duel. Oh, because of yeah. this. What am I going to do with these? They look cool. What's the problem? I asked for riches and you put it in my damn pants. So what? You can't sell those? I've been trying to sell them and they won't take them. Jonks, I'm calling you out. I don't know what that means. I'm challenging you to a duel and I'm going to win this duel. Is that the wish? I'm confused. Sure, that'll be my wish. I'm going to I'm going to win a duel against you and I'm calling you out. My goodness. Hold on, so if I understand correctly, your wish is to have the opportunity to battle me in some sort of duel a to duel. the death? Mano e mano. You I, grab a gun. Both, we're both I immortal. have my gun. I have my gun. I'm gonna I'm gonna well not anymore. If I shoot you, you're not gonna be immortal. You're gonna be very much dead. There are a lot of specifics involved in this in this wish. Oh, stop trying to change. You get out of there. Who you get out. Wait, I'm not some sort of wizard of Oz. This is I'm there's no little man inside of where's, me. Where's where's the curtain? Where's the guy? Where there's, is he? Where is no he? Such there's okay. no such guy. There's no such guy, Family Rob. Listen. What? It sounds like and I don't want to I don't mean to psychoanalyze you, Family Robinson, but it sounds like there's a deeper problem here. When you're resorting to violence, it seems like maybe there's something else that's on your mind. All right, let's go dig on. a little deeper. Go on. How are things at home? Uh, they're fine. I watch a lot of TV, so. Okay. Yeah. How's the how are, how's the family? Uh, I don't really have one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just kind of live with uh, some roommates. It's like me and four other guys. Uh, they 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 watch this show. I don't know if you've seen it. It's called I Love Lucy. Have you seen this thing? You know, I don't get much cable up here. 
What's the premise? It's crazy. It's uh, this is it's this girl named Lucy. Okay. And she lives with a guy named Ricky. And she's just getting all into all kinds of hijinks. I've never seen anything like it, especially in the Wild West. They don't have shows like this. She's like making chocolates. She can't. She can't keep up. She has a name Ethel. It is. Interesting. You gotta see this show. Well, it's, uh, Family Robinson, I have interesting news for you. Okay. One of our council members has triggered the phone friend function, which means we're gonna get one of your roommates on the line. All right. And perhaps they'll be able to offer some insights here that will help our council decide whether or not your wish should be granted. Great, great. So in just a moment, we're gonna connect you with the magic phone booth. Careful, t you may want to take a step back. This thing comes in hot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Never get used to that thing. Yeah. All, All right, right, go ahead and step up to the phone and grab the phone. We should have your roommate on the line. Hello? Hey, family, you there? Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Yeah. How's that voice? Listen, listen, we had to put all your shit on the curb. We had somebody else moving in. What? You've been climbing that mountain for the last month, man. You I'm, haven't uh, paid your rent. Well, I got, I'm trying to get the money. I'm, I'm talking to Jonks right now. I'm calling him out. Oh, you were going to see Jonks. Yeah, I'm going to see Jonks. He on, owes me. On your way out, all you said, I said, promise me you're oh. not going to see Jonks. You said, I'm not seeing Jonks. Right. And you're telling me you're at Jonks' uh, phone booth right now? I'm, I, I'm on top of the hill. I finally got here, and I'm calling him out. So, well, listen. I'll get, uh, look. I'll, I'll try to find some money around here. Maybe he has some. I don't know. You, well, you got to get a lot or else this new roommate's moving in. All right. All right. And it's you, you still won't buy these pants? Nobody these pants wants the pants. worth anything to you? Well, you've been pissing and shitting in them. It doesn't matter that they're gold. Well, I'm from the Wild West. It's what we do back then. It's not wild to smell like piss and shit, family. Uh. Well, where am I gonna watch I Love Lucy now? If I don't, if I'm not living there, I have to find another place to watch I Love Lucy. Well, good luck. We're the only TV who has that program, and years and years and years, oh. no one's had it. All right, Jeff. Well, look, just just watch after my stuff. I'll be back. I promise. I'm and not I'll have watching your money. the stuff. Get the money. The stuff might be gone, and I don't care. Ah. Uh, you're gonna make me call you out soon. I'm gonna call you out. Oh, please. I, you know what? I dare you to try. Yeah, well, I call you out over the phone right now. Listen. I'm calling you out. Okay, well, you can't shoot through the phone. Well, I could try. I could certainly try. You know what? Yeah, hell, I'd love to see that. All Give right. it a try. Well, I only got one bullet, and a Jonks is right here. So I gotta, I gotta fight Jonks. Fine. I knew you wouldn't shoot. <sighs> All right. Bye, Jeff. Bye. Step By the way. Step away from the phone. What? Step away from the phone. Okay. okay. Step away from the phone. What, what are you going to do? Sorry. It's just I have to do that because it falls into that giant pit right by your feet. I see. People. All right. Just I'm so calling you, know, you out, members, Jonks. I'm calling you out. I understand. Just so the council knows that when you trigger the my leg sound alert when the phone is up, it doesn't work because we have too many overlays. So can we get some legs coming out of my mouth? How many? I think like four. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, excuse hey, me. Th this doesn't count as a duel. We still excuse got me. a duel to do. Hey, come on. Pardon me. Ah. We can have you an extra leg there, Theo, for me. Oh, okay. Jeez. Oh, do you really want to battle me? Yes, I'm calling you out. That's why I'm here. All right, that's good. Can't be. We can't be giving those out for free. Listen, Family Robinson. If you truly do desire to duel me, we can make that happen. I don't really know how it's going to work, but we could try to make that happen. But it seems like what I, what's really happening... Hold on, excuse me. My leg. <sighs> Pardon me. Can I just ask you a, a question real quick, John? Yeah, go, shoot. Was, was this some kind of a joke or something? Like, I asked for... a. At least a million dollars in gold. And you put it all in my damn pants? Is that like a comedy thing for it's, you? Hold on, I've got horrible indigestion. <sighs> oh, jeez. Um, we this should probably count. raise we should probably raise the price of that leg thing. Uh listen, it's less of a joke and more of like a monkey's paw kind of thing where sometimes I like to do sort of like an ironic punishment related to a wish. Okay. Just, you know, cause it's it makes it more interesting for me. Uh I didn't. I feel bad about it now, though. You're right. I could see how that's inconvenient for you. Now I'm being kicked out of my apartment. 
Well, here's the thing. I it sounds to me like you are having a hard time at home. You're you're sitting at home, you're watching TV. Doesn't seem like you've got a great relationship with your roommates. Right. No right. family to speak of. Right, right. What if we wish for you to have an awesome bachelor pad, no roommates, and maybe like a cool job where you can actually meet some people and get out. Cause to me, it sounds like you're you're going through some depression. You're not feeling connected to a, to a community. Mm, we get you yeah. back up on your feet. You know, and now you're first, not running around trying to kill everybody. At first I was, I was calling you out. Now I'm hearing you out. <laughs> this is a good plan. I like this wish a lot. A lot more than the one I, I thought of. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you hearing me out. Because I am not a therapist. But sometimes, sometimes all it takes is an active listener. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get I get you. And what happens to the pants? Well, you're going to keep those. Oh, but God, I don't want these. I mean, you don't have to wear them. But listen. No matter what, you're getting another bonus wish, man. In addition to those hot dogs. All right. You're also going to be taking home this fabulous prize. Did that get triggered? Yep. Oh. This fabulous prize. This better be good. This better be good. Beyond Smurf. <laughs> oh. Smurf. Okay. Taste Smurf. I've seen some Smurfs. I've now, seen some Smurf shows. A lot yeah. of people love the taste of Smurf, but the guilt associated with it is too much. Well, now, that's no problem because with Beyond Smurf, you'll Beyond Smurf, you'll swear you're eating Smurf when really it's plant-based Smurf. Also sustainable. And it's Better sustainable. All right. Yep. Well, if I don't like it, can I still have the hot dogs? Yeah, you can still have the 11 hot dogs. All right. That works for so me. So you're taking home two delicious treats. Yeah. All but it's right. Now, okay. So just to clarify here, yeah. are you okay with the wish now? Yeah, have? let's do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm not calling you out anymore. I'm hearing you out. All right. So the wish now is to have a dope bachelor pad and maybe some cool new friends. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. And is I Love Lucy factor into that at all? Like, can, can I still watch that? You can still it's watch it if you want. It's such a good show. <laughs> you got to see this show, I Love Lucy. She's making wine. Have you seen that she's making wine and she's stepping on the on the grapes? <laughs> like, what is she doing? It's crazy. That sounds crazy, man. I got to yeah, check that it's, out. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, yeah. let's get the poll up for the council. Uh, all right. In just a moment. It's going to work out in my favor, John. Well, unfortunately, it's not up to me. It's up to our council. All right, councils. Better work out in my favor. They're going to vote. All right. Just make sure it works for me. Or I'll call you all out. Council members, do you have any questions for uh, Family Robinson? Yeah, a cool bachelor pad and some and some cool friends. Yeah. Ones no that questions. like I love Lucy as much as I do. Council seems ready to go. Oh, here's here's a question. How uh, heavy are those gold pants? They're so heavy. I mean, my legs are just pure muscle at this point. Well, that sounds kind of like a silver lining. Ah, no. You ever seen MASH? We're getting a question about if you've ever seen MASH. I've seen a few episodes of MASH, yeah, yeah. That's the theme song, right? I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about the TV show or the oh, movie? Oh, here's a good question. Have you ever thought about melting the pants down and turning them into, like, ingots or something? It, you know, the thing is, is I need pants. I gotta wear something. Those are your only it. pants? Those are my only pants. Well, that sounds like a totally different but still valid problem. Anyway, council, pop. go ahead and vote now to determine whether we grant Swiss families... His name is Family Robinson. Come on, you way. better vote. His name you is better Swiss vote family. yes. Okay, well... But we'll keep it up. I'll call you all out. Everyone, we all everyone saying too, I call you out. He is Swiss, right? You're Swiss? Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Yeah, that's a Swiss accent. It's been such a long time since I was born. He's got Swiss vibes. Swiss vibes for sure. Yeah, maybe. I mean, Ooh, it's a close one. We're going to go ahead and close Come out on. this poll now, though. You make me call you out. I'll and it does you. seem I'll like we have decided. Out. To grant your wish. Ha! Da! Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, jeez. This thing's broke. Oh, well, if you want to get back in line, you could maybe wish for it to be repaired. But, I gotta go all the way to the back of the line? Yeah, but we are going to grant your wish, and so we're going to say the magical words now. And when we do, 
Your wish will be granted. All right. Council members in the chat, say it with me. If you don't know it, you'll figure it out. Wibbity Wobbity Wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Wibbity Wobbity Wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. One more time. Wibbity Wobbity Wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Congratulations, Family Robinson. Go and enjoy your beautiful new bachelor pad and your cool friends. Folks, if you're just joining us, my name is Jonks. I live at the top of this mountain, and I grant wishes just like that one you just saw. But of course, not every traveler gets their wish granted. Some of them are denied by you, the council, and other really evil ones. I know, it's a bummer. I wish we could grant them all, but we just can't. And some real evil travelers are sacrificed, blood, bones, and all. If you want to kill a traveler at any point during tonight's proceedings, donate five dollars, and I will eat them alive. We've got some guest book entries. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed. We're already six out of fifteen subs from hitting our goal. Let's look at the guest book entries from the subscribers so far. All right, VTAC versus the world said, "Dear Jonks." When do we get to see what's under the ground like your bros there? Wait, under the- what? When do we get to see what's under the ground like your bros- Oh! Hot my hot brothers! You wanna see what's- what I'm cooking up- You know, right, right now I'm in a bulk phase. So I'm try- I'm- I'm <laughs> trying to like, add mass. When I start cutting, maybe then I'll show you guys what's down there. But right now it's just like- I'm strong. Don't get me wrong, I'm getting really strong, but it's all, you know, it's a little blobby down there. Scott says, I was really excited to speak to Olmec from Legends of the Hidden Temple, but I only got this Wish.com talking rock. Alright, well that's hurtful. And uh, there's a third one that I can't read because it's being covered by our camera, but I'm sure it's very nice. Here we go. Oh yes, yeah, Slalom says, Wished for more wishes, but only got a pair of pants. Three out of ten. Well, Slalom, we operate by genie rules out here, and a wish for more wishes is going to get you on the bad side. So. I'm sorry that you didn't have a good experience, but I really appreciate the subscription and the guest book message. And for those of you who haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing. You'll get to write a message in our guest book and you'll help us reach our goal of going into outer space later this evening. Anyway, folks, that's all the housekeeping that needs to be done. I think there is another traveler making their way up my mountain right about now. This thing has everything, including my mark. Hello. Hello there, traveler. Whoa. What Are brings you... you here? Well, I'm a professor. Uh, my name is Professor Amalette. I teach chemistry at Caltech. And, um, Mr. Jonks, nobody respects me at my job. Well, Professor Amalette, you seem to be a intelligent. Well, wait a minute. Where are your pants? Um, you know, it got caught on, um, a, a branch on the way up here. Ah. And it started with a thread, and it was such a long walk that by the time I made it up here, the entire- oh. There's just a long thread of my pants. I see. All the way back down. So thing. you ordinarily wear pants when you're teaching, though? Absolutely. I deal okay. with very dangerous chemicals. I see. I was wondering if maybe that was the reason that you were not getting respected by your students. No, it's just I live in California, which I know you would think is very liberal, but with this voice, you know, everyone keeps calling My name is Professor Omelette. Everyone keeps calling me Professor Omelette. Oh, is that? I see. I made that mistake. How? So it's Omelette. 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 Yes. Is it spelled the same? Absolutely the same way. Okay. I could see how that might be confusing. What's the origin of that? Is that French? Um, yeah. From like the province town. Got it. Uh, <laughs> sure. So, what is it? What is it that you teach, Professor Omelette? Um, clearly, you can tell from my outfit that I teach uh, natural chemistry. Sure, it's all about gases and acids. And um, wait, what was the first thing? Gases. Oh, gases. Gases, yes. And you know, I'm just trying to teach these children the power of chemistry. And by children, I mean young adults. They are college aged. Right. I see. But all anyone wants to do is laugh at me because, you know, jo jonks? Jonks. Jonks. You know, 
I may be pantsless today, but this is not the first time this has happened to me. I often find myself without pants. Oh, really? Usually when I teach. What is happening that's creating a scenario like that? You know, my mother always taught me that pants are just not for everyone, okay? Well, that seems like a strange life lesson. What did she mean by that? I mean, I think she was just trying to placate me because I kept losing my pants. Well, don't be alarmed. I or am. do be alarmed, Professor Omelette, because you've just won a fabulous bonus wish. Oh my god. Congratulations. Whether oh or not word. we grant your wish today, just know you'll be taking home this fantastic prize. Oh, I hope it's pants. It's a Croc Stiletto. <laughs> oh yes. my gosh. All the function of a croc with all the style of a beautiful stiletto heel. That's a, that's really great. I have a great nightlife, so that's going to come in handy. You're going to be looking good and feeling good in these croc stilettos. Congratulations. You'll be taking home that bonus. Which, uh, Professor Omeletto. No. Omelette. Sorry. I can't. <laughs> I got, I got, I got wow. taken with stiletto, omeletto. Uh, Professor Omelette. Thank, yes, I will respond now. Yes. I... I want to do a little role play here because I think perhaps one of the issues here is that you're not commanding the respect that you deserve when you are teaching your class and maybe with a little a little more aggression. Oh, so you got some shorts on under there. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I met several people. That's good there. forethought yeah. for a person who is consistently losing their pants to have another layer underneath. You've got to have a backup. Um, I'm going to pretend to be one of your students in class, and I want you to interact with me the way you normally do so we can sort of get a sense of how it goes. Okay, just so you know, I'm not an actor. Okay. I'm uh, not hey, an actor. Don't worry. Me neither. This is simply... A fact finding. Oh, and I guess we we should clarify here. Is your wish to get the respect of your students? Uh, yes, students, faculty, bus drivers, just everyone. You want global respect? Yeah, you know, I've never caught a bus. They always seem to take off when I show up. I see. Okay. Uh, all right. So commanding the respect of those around you. Here we go. I'm okay. gonna pretend to be one of your students. You just react like you normally would in class. Okay. Uh. Professor Omelette. What? Uh, where are your pants? My pants? They're somewhere. Where's your A? Oh, right. You're terrible at this. You're a trash student, and I can't stand to look at you. Every day I wake up, and I think, God, I gotta teach those freaking idiots, those dumb students who don't know nothing about chemistry, coming to me, coming to Omelette, thinking I'm gonna solve all your problems. Well, you know what? Your brain chemistry is what's off, you feeble-minded child. All right, and let's let's cut out of this scene for one second. Sorry. Let's I take a moment. That was no, that was hey. Look, I appreciate that you got wow. so into the role. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a sense of maybe where where we're going wrong here mm -hmm. on the respect thing. To me, it felt like it came off a little hot. Okay, you uh, think? it seemed a little aggressive, maybe. I mean, I work with Bunsen burners. Okay, there's nothing higher than that. Okay, all right, and you've got the jokes. See that to me. That's charming, that's charismatic. I want to see that, Professor Omelette, okay, wait. when I'm interacting with students. The, the, the Bunsen burner, quick off the cuff, that stuff, that rocks. But that's like, that's like nighttime omelette. That's me and my croc stilettos, you know? Like, How do we get you there? Do you need to take like, have like a martini or something before you go out to oh teach? Oh my god, I would love that. Here, maybe that. maybe our council has some suggestions for how you can loosen up before class. Please, I'm so nervous. Council members, it seems like Professor Omelette is maybe getting a little tense before class, and if he could just loosen up and be himself, he can be his quick, witty, charming self, and maybe get the respect of his students. All right, here's a suggestion. Ketamine. Okay. Have you tried that? Molly, we're getting a lot of drug... And we're also... Oh, okay, here we go. This'll Maybe this will be helpful. We're going to get one of your students on the phone oh my god so that you can talk to them okay. and maybe maybe this will be an opportunity for you to kind of ask them mm -hmm. how they feel about you and what you could be doing better wow i could really do a lot up here that's amazing yep okay. yep we got it all all right so be careful this this phone booth comes in hot just watch your step oh my god <coughs> <coughs> all right go ahead and step up to the phone booth we should have one of your students on the line uh, uh, omelet professor omelet this is Professor Omelette. Uh, if you're looking for Professor Omelette, check the fridge. <laughs> okay, I, I got it. Okay. 
Uh, how's, how's, how are things? Stanley, is this you? Yeah. God, of all the people, jonks. Stanley, okay, what's up? Uh, I have a question about my, my homework. Oh, my God, okay. Did you do it this time? And I was wondering if I can get an extension on the homework that I'm uh, supposed to do. Lord, bear me strength. Okay, so how long do you want this extension to be? Uh, however long it takes to play Tears of the Kingdom, the new Zelda game. Stanley, I don't even know what you just said to me, okay? <laughs> Zelda, uh, I Tears, just, Tears you, of the... You just have to write a personal essay about covalent bonds and what they mean to you. <laughs> personal. That's all I asked. I don't know why that's so difficult. Okay, it's language arts meets chemistry. Can I, is it okay if I just use AI to write it for me? Oh my God, Stanley. <laughs> Do you want to take a dump in my mouth too? No. It's a one-to-one. Uh, okay, well, I, um, have you ever tried to play video games like Tears of the Kingdom? Because it's really fun. It, the, the new game right now, and it might take about 200 hours, which is, that's a long time. No one's ever invited me to play a video game, Stanley. Oh, you should come. You should come over. You, you could just trade. We can trade off. Okay. Do you have ketamine? I, I'm told that would help as well. I can, I can look in the, the medicine cabinet. Okay. Are you free Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday night's free. Okay. I'll be there. Are you in a uh, crotch limb dorm? Yeah, I'm right over there. Okay. Yeah, room 213. Two Step away from the phone. Oh, Step Stanley, away go. from the phone. Okay, okay. I'll see Step you away Tuesday. from I'm the phone. Keep, keep playing those hearts. Step Kingdom away above. from the phone. Watch your step. Sorry about that. It's very expensive to have these phone calls, so we try to cut them short. Yeah. Uh, I get is that it. appropriate what just happened? Yeah, I was actually just about to bring that up. It seemed like things were going well, and then I only heard one side of the conversation, but... From my end, it almost sounded like you just asked a student to basically do ketamine on a date with you. I mean, I assumed other people would be there. Oh, okay. So it's just a party with ketamine. Just a party with ketamine. Okay? All right. Well, in that That's... case, I don't see the problem. Hey, I kind of want to hear more about this assignment where you want your students to write about what covalent bonds mean to them. Thank you. Honestly, you are the only one who's interested in this. That is. Uh, so... I just really thought, like, covalent bonds are such an unknown element to chemistry, you know, at a very root, grassroot level. So I wanted to make sure my students could, like, connect with it. So, like, talk to me about, like, the first time you met a covalent bond or, like, wh like what is your bond to covalent bonds, okay? And, like, did your parents teach you about covalent bonds or did you learn them from me, Professor Amalette? And, like, how do you feel? Because I feel like there's just no feeling in chemistry anymore, okay? And I'm all about the feelings. Right. That's a very progressive approach to the to the STEM. I feel like all that's missing in a lot of STEM education is, like, yes, you know, two times four is eight. But, like, how does that make you feel? Yes. I feel like nobody's ever asking how it makes you feel that these numbers add up the way that they do. And that's something that, you know... I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, Professor Omelette, mm -hmm. is that if, if you want these students to really connect with you and respect you... I do. I, I think you, you need to connect with them on an emotional level, all right? Y yes, they're, you're asking them what's their bond with covalent bonds, but maybe you want to get to know them on more of a personal level. What are their hobbies? You know, what are their... You know, you, you want to really connect with these students. And maybe... Dude. Maybe, you know, you're asking them to share things about their lives. Maybe you need to volunteer some things about your life so that they can relate. What are some relatable things about you, Professor Omelette? Um, I'm a collector. I collect okay. hunting knives. You okay? Whoa. Um, That's a big knife. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I just like to, you know, collect them and stuff. And also, I love Christmas, my favorite holiday. Um, <laughs> Collects huge knives, loves Christmas. What's not to love? Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we're connecting a little bit here. Okay. I guess maybe like, are there things that um, the students might connect with? Like, do you have music taste or movies or TV that you like? No, it's just knives <laughs> and Christmas. Just knives and Christmas. Okay, kind of my whole thing. Got it. All right. Well, I did like the movie Black Christmas. All right. Okay. We could we could maybe do something with that. Well, listen. 
I think your heart's in the right place, Professor Omelette, and if, if a wish is what it's going to take to get you the respect that you deserve, so be it. I want to give our council a quick... Oh! Oh, you know what that sound means. I do not. All right, well, you're about to find out because it means you just won another fabulous bonus wish. Yes. yes. Congratulations, yes. Professor I'm so Omelette. happy I could stab. In addition, oh, oh no. Well, let's see what he would have won. It's like very appropriate, actually. Let's take a look. <laughs> Ooh, it's a suicide gun. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Many people, many, oh wow, many people find it awkward and uncomfortable to shoot themselves with a standard pistol. Well, now the convenience of the suicide gun makes that a thing of the past. Interesting. All right. Well, the Elmer Fudd. The, the Elmer Fudd. Oh great. Congratulations. You you would have been taking that home. You would have been taking that home, Professor Amalette. However. It seems that our council has other plans. Okay. You are being sacrificed. What? <laughs> Professor Omelette. Yes. One of the council members <laughs> has paid five dollars to sacrifice your life. Only five? Yeah. <laughs> five bucks is all it takes. Okay. <laughs> for me to eat you blood, bones, and all. However... Uh, now, Junk, don't do this to me. Well, I won't have to if you are able to charm. And this will be a great test, actually, because this is all about your ability to charm and show off your charisma to earn the respect of the council. If you're able to yes. convince the council to donate $10, your life will be spared, and you will have an opportunity again to have your wish granted. The floor is yours, Professor Omelette. Okay. Don't kill me. I am a very fun person. Even though my name is Omelette and not Omelette, I love omelettes. We can make them together. Omelettes with Omelette. I could have my own show on the Food Network. Rachel Ray told me that, okay? And you know what else? I'm like really chill on grading, okay? I know I'm pretty harsh on extensions, but that is because it was an assignment that I created, personal essay about covalent bonds. But in the end, I'm chill AF, okay? And that is not a symbol on the periodic table, okay? Like, and I could, I could teach you that, okay? We are losing chemistry. The earth is dying, and we don't know what anything is anymore. But I can tell you, I hold that record, okay? And, like, I love Kelly Clarkson. You know, her new album, Chemistry. Oh, there's the music. It's really... He does uh, have a music taste. <laughs> it's really connecting with me. I've only listened to that album. <laughs> have never heard of her before today. But you know what? She, It's her divorce album, and honey, I know heartbreak, okay? Knives, Christmas, Kelly. Yeah. Yes, the three K's. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, the best, <laughs> the most well known three K's. <laughs> the Venn diagram of people who listen to Kelly Clarkson and collect big knives is the circle. Me! Save me! Love me! Invite <laughs> me go. into your homes! We're okay. Good. Oh, we got it, folks. <sighs> Thank you so much. Internet, please do not run wild with that three K bit, okay? <laughs> I can say it, you probably cannot. Do not clip it and ship it. Let's go back. Well, congratulations, Woo! Professor Omelette. You've convinced the council to spare your life, and now it will take an enormous $15 donation to re-sacrifice you, Y'all, which I I'm, don't see happening. I'm sweating like Joe Biden when he has to do his job. Amen. Mm. Well... Oh, he's political. He's got listen. Guy's got music taste. He's got po he's got political takes. Yeah, but I don't like politics, but I know everything about it. Got it. Understood. Hey, I'm I'm kind of with you on that. Well, Professor Omelette, I think we're gonna give the council an opportunity to ask any questions now, and if uh, if they all feel confident about moving on, then we will go ahead and vote on your wish. So, council members and uh, Naked Comedy, I think it was who was it that saved. Uh, our traveler. Katzenbaron. Katzenbaron. He used the, or they used the, the chat thing, right? Is that why, is that why yes. it didn't show up? Yeah, thank they you. used the super chat thing. Well, thank you, Katzenbaron, uh, and a meow to you. Uh, alright, so, any questions? Hmm. 
Oh, Feed Zach wants to know, does this look infected? Oh, because you're... No, he's not a doctor. He's a professor. Yes, I, I can't help you. Sorry. Uh, favorite animal? Internet Crow would like to know. Ooh, uh, the, the, the meerkat. Meerkat. Yeah. Interesting choice. Why is that? They're the ones with like that yellow eyes and those really long tails. Okay, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're like monkeys, but not, and I like that. All right. There's more to their story. And here's a great question. What do covalent bonds mean to you? Can we pull in tight on me? Flipping the script. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tight on me whenever you're ready. Covalent bonds. They mean a lot to me, okay? Growing up, my parents didn't like me. They told me that every day. So the bonds that I felt bonded to were covalent. And I think the whole world is made up of covalent bonds if we really think about it, okay? And so they mean the world to me. They were my first friends, and they'll be my last friends. Wow. That is poetic. And it really it really is, okay, I was just going to say, it, it yeah. feels so much more meaningful when you're doing it, threatening me with a knife while you're saying it. Uh, but then when you dropped it, it got a little even more scary. You know, I'm not uh, perfect. How do you make the perfect omelet? Oh, my gosh. Well, I just watched The Bear Season 2, and episode 9, I believe, is called Omelet. It is butter in the pan, and then you put in the eggs, and then you, you wait. You wait. You gotta wait, or you're gonna get up with a bloody the omelet. The council does not want to wait. <laughs> the council is booing the concept of waiting. You gotta wait! If you want the perfect omelet, you gotta wait. That's an omelet secret. So then you fold it, and then when you're done, don't put that butter away. Butter the eggs once it's folded in. Oh, wow. Perfect omelet. Yep, butter you butter it eggs. after it's done. Interesting. Then you eat it. That's almost crazy. I love Lucy. Incredible. Well, she's crazy. I, I feel like we know everything we need to know now about Professor Omelette, so I'm ready to start this poll. Uh, let's go ahead and prepare the poll. The, the poll is, the wish is to have respect from the world. All I want. Not just students, but bus drivers. And uh, Kelly Clarkson. The, and Kelly, and the respect of Kelly Clarkson. So we are going to prepare that poll. Council, it'll be up to you to decide whether or not this wish is granted. In a moment, the poll will arrive. Here's a question from uh, Kumstinative who wants to know how many isomers does N decane have? Okay. Okay. Phil, is that you? Phil's calling it. This is a joke we have. This is an inside joke we have. I'm not answering this. Classic. Classic science humor. Classic. You gotta love it. All right, here's the poll. Council, go ahead. And uh, Professor Omelette, if you want to make any sort of closing remarks now while people are voting to try to sway these votes, go ahead. I'm very single. No one will date me. <laughs> Starting out strong. You. Please, someone, care about me, okay? <laughs> one day, I fell in the street, and I stayed there for five hours. Until someone told me to move. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me, please. <laughs> and let's go ahead and close out that poll. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No. Professor Omelette. Uh, I have tragic news for you. Again? Unfortunately, you will not be having your wish granted. However, don't forget, you will be taking home. Which now feels maybe dangerous. Hmm. The suicide gun. <laughs> oh. How <laughs> like fitting. Maybe, maybe that's not good. What were the other? What was the, the other? Heels. Oh, and the croc heels. Okay. So at least you're gonna look good. <laughs> that's great. I only go out in Iowa. Bury me in my croc <laughs> Go ahead and close out that poll now. Well, Professor Omelette, you may not have your wish granted, but uh, let it be known that it doesn't take a magic wish to gain the respect of the people around you. If you're able to go out there and be confident in who you are, command that respect that you so deserve. Be that charming self that you were up here with me just moments ago. I think that respect that you so desire was in you the whole time. And hey, if you find out that it wasn't, you can always kill yourself with that gun. It's good to have <laughs> options. Professor Omelette, thank you so much for coming to the top of my mountain. Jonquil, it's been great to see you, and um, good luck. D don't eat me. I won't unless anyone donates $15 right now. Ah, I'm just okay. kidding. Take off, Omelette. Take care. Farewell. Well, unfortunately, we were not able to grant that traveler's wish. 
but I think we all learned a little something about ourselves and about respect. And Kelly Clarkson's new album. And Kelly Clarkson's new album. And the KKK. So folks, if you're just joining us, my name is Jonks. I live at the top of this mountain. Travelers come from far and wide to visit my mountaintop domain, hoping, praying that their greatest desires will be realized with my magical powers. But what they may not know is that it's not actually up to me to decide if their wish is granted. It's up to you! Yes, you, the Council of Jonks in the chat, you will vote to determine their fate. And you can also interact in other ways. For $5, let's change the price back down to $5. For $5, if you really don't like the vibe of a particular traveler, you can kill them. However, know that if the council decides to save them, they can with $10. It's truly a democratic, well, I guess it's not democratic. It's more just like whoever has the most money gets to decide what happens. We got another guest book entry. Let's have a look. Uh, kinda. It's nuclear goo, right? And they say, yeah. don't bother climbing to the top, just parachute in instead. Whoa! You know what? I'm not gonna... Yep, yeah, not quite. I read it. It's fine. We can get rid of it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's still kind of cutting off their name. Alright, that's probably good on that. Thank you so much for that entry, Nuclear Goo, and an interesting idea that I had not considered. If you'd like to submit your own entry into our guest book tonight, go ahead and subscribe, or use your Prime sub. Did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch subscription? It's just sitting there. Just give it to us. Just give us your money. It's free, you may as well use it on this, you get a little reward. What, are you gonna give it to Hassan? He's not even gonna read it. And for uh, sh uh, only nine more subscriptions, we'll hit our goal and we'll go into outer space where you can talk to celebrities. Seems pretty cool. Let's get nine more subs. Anyway, folks, I think I see our next traveler making their way up my mountain right about now. Oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot believe I have made it. Oh my Whoa. God, oh my dear. Oh, you do have no idea what it's like to climb a mountain with no arms! My goodness, you climbed without any arms! Of course not, I am ketchup! Oh my, so. oh my god, it's ketchup. Thank you, uh, everybody who just- Whoa! Ketchup! You've come at an interesting time. It seems that 116 new council members have just joined. So I'm oh going to greet them. And it seems- Wow, okay, lots going on right now. Welcome! Welcome, viewers! Welcome, raiders! Thank you, Harry Horror! If you're new, if you're just joining us, my name is Jonks. And my name is Ketchup! And this is Ketchup! <laughs> Ketchup has just climbed to the top of my mountain here in hopes that they, much like the other travelers who climb my mountain, will have their wish granted. Yes, I have the magical power to grant wishes, and travelers, much like Ketchup, climb to the top of my mountain every day but it's up to you! Yes, you, the viewer at home, my council members, to help me interview them and figure out whether or not we're gonna grant their wish. So, Ketchup, thank you for climbing up my mountain. I'm sure it was difficult for you with no arms. What uh, is it that brings you here? Uh, yeah, I have tried to climb this mountain very many times, and all of a sudden, if I trip once, I get put on my side, I roll all the way to the bottom, so it is taking me so long to get to the top. My uh, goodness. Uh, yes. What yes. a Sisyphusian tragedy you've just described. Oh, gosh. It is hilarious to everyone but me, so. Well, <laughs> you yes. imagine ketchup happy. What? One must oh. imagine ketchup happy. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, well, Ketchup, you finally made it to the top of my mountain, and now you can have... Well, technically, the council will decide whether you or not you can have your wish. Well, you can have it if the council votes oh, for please, it. please, council. Tell us what it is that you wish for. All I wish is to be squeezed. I just want to be squeezed. I want someone to take their hand and smack my ass until, oh my God. until what is inside of me comes out. Oh my That's goodness. That's all I want. I am so full. I don't know if we're allowed to show that on Twitch. <laughs> uh, all right. My goodness. Well, 
I can understand that having a uh, sort of something of a blockage pent up yes, could be oh, deeply uncomfortable. Oh, oh, I'm so blocked up. It is insane. Ketchup, when was the last time you were able to sort of explode? Let loose. Let loose. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I went on a dating app. Uh, recently, so that someone could squeeze me up. And actually, once I got there, I felt as if that person might kill me. So I didn't... So, okay, so I was last squeezed. Has to be three or four years ago. My goodness, three to four years without a squeezing. There must yes. be so much ketchup oh, pent up in there. Oh, I'm so burnt up. Oh, it is so... It is uh, practically coming out of my skull. My goodness. Well, hopefully our council will vote to... I'll relieve you of such pressure, oh, but please. I want to give our council some time now to get to know you a little bit better. Council members, uh, here's a question from council member I fight for them. Why is ketchup French when French's is mustard? Oh, that is a brilliant question and so hilarious. Uh, well, the, the simple answer is I was born in Paris. And, uh, and one person came up to Jonks and said, hey, here's my wish. I want all ketchup to be alive and sentient. And then poop. I am awake in Paris, okay? And I found out about Jonks, I found out I could have my own wish, and I literally climbed here from Paris, which is very, very far. My goodness, what a what a butterfly effect that now the sentient ketchup has come all this way. That's true, right. Truly bookending that, that whole character arc. Uh, all right, we have some other questions here. I also just want to uh, let everybody know, we've, it seems we've had a lot of subscriptions recently. If you subscribed at any point during this uh, broadcast, you can sign our guest book. So go ahead and type what you want to put in the guest book in the chat and we'll take a look at that. Now, uh, now, Ketchup. And is your name Ketchup, by the way? Is that how you oui. prefer to be referred to? Oui, you may call me Ketchup. Uh, let's see. We have some questions here. Uh, can, uh, okay. I'm going to ignore that one. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, uh, can we split What do they call about? French fries? <laughs> what do they call French fries in France? Oh, they just call them flies. It's as simple as you think. We take up the flesh. They're just flies. Okay, that does make a lot of sense. Oh, here's a great question from Fooloof. I was wondering this myself. Is mustard like your enemy or your girlfriend? <gasps> That is a wonderful <laughs> question. Mustard and I used to be friends, and we used to be lovers. We used to squeeze each other, but of course with our feet, because we have no arms. But one day, Mustard called me a really, really bad name, and it uh, ruined our friendship in our relationship, and I have not been friends since. So, a uh, long answer long, uh, lovers turned oh. enemies, sir. Oh no, that is very tragic sad. that you were you were called a terrible name. What what was that? And we, can we go back to the wire? Uh, yes. oh. <laughs> what a uh, what was word. what was that terrible name? If you don't, unless you can't say. Oh, it, it was cunt. <laughs> okay, that is. <laughs> it was wow. cunt. I thought I thought so. it was gonna be. I thought no. it was going to be like a ketchup nah, pun nah, or ketchup some sort of ketchup. It. Nah, it is cunt. Just straight up called you the C word. Yes, now, cunt right. up. It could have said it. Now it would have yeah. been funnier. Would have been better, yeah. It could have been good to at least get a pun in there. Yes. All Lots right. of squirting questions in, in the chat. Yeah, I'm seeing those. <laughs> Here's a question. Are you a squeeze or a glass bottle? Oh, that's a great question. I'm a squeeze bottle. I'm very... Oh, I, I feel so good. Ah, I see. Because, yes. yeah, you were mentioning... I'm not hard. I'm soft. You were are, you are mentioning earlier that you also want to be spanked, and that, to me, seems like something more of, like, a something you would do with a glass bottle. Uh, yeah. Totally, totally. Yes, I see that. Um, I see that you can think that. No, I just kind of, you know, plastic or glass. We all want our ass smacked. So Got that's, it. that's just the way ketchup lives. So. That is very relatable. Now, we're getting questions about some other condiments here and I kind of want to okay. maybe just do the rundown here. Can you sure. maybe just tell us about your the other condiments in your life and, and sort of your relation to them? Maybe give us a vibe check on, sure. you know, mayo, relish, barbecue oh. sauce. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, well, mayo is my cousin um, and um, she is not nice, not a nice girl. So we are not friends. Um, who else? They're, oh, Relish and I were in a deep sexual relationship for many years um, and it did not work out uh, because uh, we do not go together <laughs> it's close unless you're on a hot dog as I saw somebody walking down the mountain with many many hot dogs yeah so, someone just won 11 bonus hot dogs that is a nightmare for me to hear about <laughs> I, 
got to stay away from him. Um, yeah, so uh, what other condiments are there? There's mayo, there's... Uh, barbecue sauce. Oh, uh, barbecue sauce. Ranch. Oh, barbecue sauce. That is such a sweet girl. Whoa, oh. speaking of bonus wish. Uh-oh. Ketchup, I've got great news for you. I you are the recipient of two back-to-back -to -back <laughs> bonus <laughs> wishes. Yes. Congratulations. Cra con 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 nah, I can't think of a good ketchup. Con ketchup elations. This, and that wasn't you good. Are, you are <laughs> taking home this wonderful prize. Oh yep, it's, it's a, a... It's a computer with tons of cables. Oh my gosh! Yes, as we all know, the more cables are in your computer, the better it is. Well, congratulations, you're oh, getting thank one you. thank awesome you, computer. Because uh, this one is jam-packed with cables. You, oh, that is an amazing gift. Thank you, John. But it doesn't stop there, Ketchup, because in addition to that insanely powerful cable-filled computer, you're also going to be taking home this fabulous prize. Oh Yes, it's oh. Cap'n Crunch. Oh my god, it What's is Cap'n himself? Yes, the guy who <laughs> died in that submarine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought that was finally getting a human who can give me one good squeeze. But no, this nope. man is past. It's he a guy. He was, in, I think. Yep. he was in a squeeze himself. Yep. Yes, yes. You know, I had the opportunity to go on the submersible that day. Oh my but god. I showed up and I went inside. Uh, Are you turning I, British? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, <laughs> I've uh, vent in there, uh, so. Okay, so I saw this immersible. I took a look at it. I said, this is too small for ketchup. And I went home. So everybody should have done that. Bam, you and Mr. Beast. <laughs> well, uh, ketchup. <laughs> No matter what happens today, whether or not we grant your wish to have a big squeeze, you're going to be taking home that one dead guy in a submarine and those uh, that awesome computer. Is that the guy with the sun? Uh, I don't know. We shouldn't we shouldn't think about that all that much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Ketchup, uh, we got a lot of great questions, and you've answered them all. I want to see if there's any more things that our council wants to know about you, and then we're going to vote. But okay. uh, I, I've got some questions for you, Ketchup. Uh when you do get squeezed yes. and all this pressure is released, what's the first thing you're going to want to do? Oh, man, dear. I, I've never even thought about this. Um, if I'm feeling so empty, totally not full and full of ketchup, I would, I don't know, find love. Maybe have a child. A child? What, yes. is that, what does that look like for, some, uh, for a bottle of ketchup? I think ketchup has sex just like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> just full, full on yes, penetrative. Yes. I have a hole <laughs> that can be full, you know. So, um, yes. So, I'm no packet, you know. I've got a hole on top. And uh, so it could be full. And once it is, a baby probably glows inside. <laughs> Any other questions about how that is done? No, I feel like that all makes perfect sense to me yes. and yes. requires no clarification. Yes. Uh, here's one last question from our council member, and then we're going to go ahead and pull up the poll. Uh, what are your thoughts on purple ketchup? <gasps> Remember that from like the early 2000s, late 90s? I do not respect individuality. I do not respect a person trying to make their own way in the world. Okay? So when I saw purple ketchup, I said... Oh, fuck off, purple ketchup. <laughs> purple ketchup. <laughs> uh, sorry, when I'm away from Pally for too long, my accent starts to go away. <laughs> no, no, it's not racism. No, 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 no. We're getting a lot of accusations of ketchup racism in the council. It is not racism. <laughs> it is <laughs> It's something else. <laughs> Um, no, 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 I am not a villain. I'm actually so nice. Uh, purple ketchup was actually very mean. And a racist, actually. Uh, so, um, well, it's not me, it's purple. Ketchup, despite your seeming borderline racism, uh, the council has not decided to kill you. Oh, they did decide to kill that sweet professor for some <laughs> yes, reason, that but is he was so saved. Sad. Um, in any event, uh, catch up. The council is now going to have an opportunity to vote. If you're new here, council members in the chat, go ahead and vote. Yes, type oh, please, a one in the chat please. if you want to 
I am so stacked up. Please. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, it is going Interesting. my way. Interesting verbiage here in the poll. I wasn't expecting that. Ketchup's wish to fucking get off. Yes. Yes, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's just like coming. It's just like coming. So <laughs> yeah, did I not mention? Keep that in mind, yes. Council. As let them come. Yes. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh my god. And gosh. it seems like a near runaway here. Oh. The eyes have it. I've seen enough. Close that poll. Congratulations, Ketchup. Woo! You're gonna be. Woo! You're gonna be squirting all over this mountain. Oh! Thank you. Thank Congratulations. Oh, thank you so now much. Now we're going to cut to me so that we don't show it because I'm almost positive that will get us taken off of <laughs> Twitch. Uh, but we're going to zoom in on me. We'll say the magic words. Maybe we'll hear it. And then uh, and then we'll see how you see how you feel. Here we go. Right. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by junk. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Oh my god. Your wish has been granted by John. It's happening! Wibbity wobbity wong. It's happening to me! Your wish has been granted by John. Oh, 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 yes, yes! A very good! Congratulations, Woo! Ketchup. I wish I had an arm to wipe off my sweaty head. Oh my god. <laughs> well, next time, get back in line. We can make that wish happen. Oh, thank you so much, Jean. I appreciate you so much. How thank does it you. feel? Oh, I feel amazing. I'm going to go out and find love and make a little baby. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone. Godspeed, Ketchup. Take Godspeed. care. Godspeed. <laughs> God save the queen. God save the queen. And there Ketchup goes, rolling <laughs> back down the mountain. Incredible stuff, folks. Wow, a dr that's what dreams are made of. Folks, if you've just joined us, you came at a very exciting time. My name is Jonks. I live at the top of this mountain. Travelers journey from far and wide to have their greatest desires realized by my magical witch-granting powers, just like Ketchup did. Usually it's a human, but sometimes it's a sentient bottle of ketchup. No matter the traveler, it's up to you, our council, in the chat, to vote and ask questions and basically just figure out whether or not they're worthy of having their wish granted. And I'll help with that too. We've got some more guest book entries. We've got some wonderful new guest book entries. If you subscribe during tonight's show, you can write a little message in my guest book and we'll read it out on stream. Let's see what we've got here. Theo from Eden says, it's fine. Thank you for that that uh, ringing endorsement, Theo from Eden. Internet Crow says, I wish for endless boba milk tea so I will never again deny myself a little treat. We all are deserving of a little treat from time to time. I'm glad to have granted that wish for you, Internet Crow. And McDougal wished for, or said, if you're going to see Jonks, don't hire George the Mountain Guide. I paid him to bring me to Jonks, but he showed up drunk and sharded on my map. Zero stars. So sorry about that experience, McDougal. Yes, uh, I definitely recommend checking the re Yelp reviews of Mountain Guides before signing on with one so that doesn't happen again. So sorry about that. Hopefully, if you make it up to my mountain, you can wish to be unsharded on. Folks, if you'd like to write your own message in my guest book to be read on stream, go ahead and subscribe. If we get just four more subscriptions, a mere four more, we'll have hit our goal in the bottom right and blast off into outer space to wish upon some stars. But in the meantime, I think it's time... Oh, and join the Discord. I don't think I mentioned that recently, but... Go ahead and join the Discord. You can submit images for bonus wishes, like that croc stiletto or those hot dogs or some other thing. Go ahead, join the Discord, submit some images. Your image might be used as a bonus wish tonight. Anyway, folks, I think I see our next traveler making their way up my mountain. Hey, 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 Jonks. Hi. Hello there, traveler. Can I take your picture? Uh, yeah, sure. Can I, can what are you going to use it for? I'm just for my own personal use. Oh, okay. I suppose that's fine. Can I take a selfie? Yeah, go for it. All right, smile. Cheese. Yes. <laughs> Good. 
Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. Traveler, what is your name and what brings you here? Uh, uh, my name? It's a uh, uh, Murder Simpson. Murder Simpson? <laughs> yeah. Murder Simpson, what is it that brings you to my mountaintop I, domain? I need a key. I need a key for this. For what? For uh, Oh, can we zoom in on that? Yeah. I'm sure you get this a lot. A lot of convicts. Hold that up for us, here. Murder. I need a key. Yeah, what's going on there? I, can we get a little bit more background on that, Murder? I was, I was being transported to another facility, and uh, and they the police officer shut his hand in the door. And, and it came, came right clean off. off. Came right off. Wow. I, I, I ran. Jeez. Would you like um would you like a margarita? They've been handing these out in the line. Oh really? Yeah, That's they're really good. good. Really good. Uh you know, I'm good right now. I'm doing a I'm doing a dry July. Okay. Dry yeah. July, yeah. <laughs> Trying to tighten it up. They could probably make like a virgin margarita yeah. for you if you want. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, maybe sure I'll ask somebody else to bring me up one of those. Hey, listen, Mr. Simpson, uh -huh. I gotta ask. Yeah. What is it that brings you to my mountaintop domain? I need a key for this. So right. That's the one thing I so need. So you just want to not have that hand yeah. attached to you. And then I can enjoy my vacation. It's the first one I've had in years. What is it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. So what is it that got you locked up, if you I, don't mind me asking? I was on death row for many years. I was recording movies off Turner Classic Movie Channel. <laughs> Wait, you got you got locked up for pirating movies and they put you on death row? Yeah, it was it was during that weird time when they were saying this is as bad as stealing a car, mm -hmm. as killing someone. How many movies did you steal? I had all I had all of them. I had all You all stole the movies, every Turner Classic. Every movie they film. played there, I just recorded it and they and found were the you tapes. Were you distributing them? No, it's just for my own personal use. <laughs> and they were going to kill you for that? Yeah. That seems yeah. like a gross sort of overcorrection on my part. It, in it's my it's partly my lawyer's fault. He oh. didn't really have a good case. Um, and uh, the judge, I think, didn't like me very much. He said I was like a really scrawny kind of guy and I had a weird voice. He so, said that to you? Yeah, so he was like, I'm just sending this guy to death row. This guy's going to get it. And uh, managed to escape and just enjoying my time. Uh, need to get a haircut, obviously. Yeah, you're looking a little shaggy up there, yeah. Mr. Simpson. Yeah, looking a little shaggy. I see you stopped to buy a Hawaiian shirt and lay. Yeah, you, this is a tropical Leading place. Leading in. It's, uh, haven't done this in a long time. Just uh, by myself on a nice beach somewhere. Uh, if I could just get rid of this, because people, you know, it raises some eyebrows. I'll say that much. Well, Mr. Simpson, we are going to get your cellmate from prison on the phone. Oh. So if you oh, want to take a step back for just a moment, we're going to hopefully get some insights for your, from your cellmate. You're going to have a conversation with him. Okay. And uh, hopefully we'll get some insights about your relationship and your general vibe. So be careful. The phone booth comes out hot. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. Go ahead and step up to the phone. Okay. We should have your former cellmate on the line. These in a while. Yep, retro. Hey, is it, are you there? Uh, murder? Yeah. Where did you go? I I, I escaped. I got, I got out you of there. Escaped? Yeah, you know how we always talked about. Yeah, we 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 talked about it. <laughs> We talked yeah, about it. I know, and I'm sorry to abandon the plan so quickly. It was just, I gotta co-run our book club by myself? I'm sorry. <laughs> Not even co-running it? I, we were so close. We were digging that hole. We, was, we were so close to the sewage system, but then this thing happened, and I was like, what? This is the perfect opportunity. I gotta take well, you it. Know, you know what? Whatever. whatever. Just tell me, where is that little pink flamingo glass? I was looking for it. Do uh, you know where you left it? Uh... I might have taken it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Murder? What? I had it in, in my pocket while they were transporting me, and I was going to have it at the other facility. And you are I, absolutely ruining prison I, for me right now. I know, but <laughs> li this listen, is... <laughs> Ted, if you could try this margarita, you would not be so angry at me. It tastes amazing. Do you hear still... yourself? If I could taste this margarita that you're drinking out of the cup that I wanted to drink a margarita out of? I, it might happen to you. You could be getting in the car and then the police officer... You got in a car? 
Yeah, it was a police car. It was a squad car, and he oh. shut his he shut his hand in the in the car door. Oh my God, that was you. We were all what he's walk. He's not telling anybody what happened. Hey, I don't mean to interject here, but what book were you guys reading for the book club? Oh, where the crawdad sings. Yeah. <laughs> Where the crawdad sings. It's a really, it's a good one. It's a little dense. It's uh, yeah. Why don't you, know, you tell him about the book murder? Okay. <laughs> you said yeah. you read it, right? You I said did. you read it this month. Yeah, it's uh, basically a, a little girl finds a land uh, where the crawdads live. <laughs> right. And and uh, and they all love music a lot. The and crawdads they all, do. They all love the music, but it's also sort of about their government and sort of about. <laughs> You know how they how they put things together, and there a lot of it is about the justice system, <laughs> which is why we took a particular interest in it, because uh, we were locked up by the justice system. God, so. it's sort of like an allegory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I got to explain all that to all the prison guys. You know? Sorry, like, I'm sorry. It's sounds just, cool. I had Gotta make our toilet sandwiches as well. well toilet you, sandwiches. Who is that? Delayed. Sorry, I, who are you, who are this you is Jonks. I'm, hey, I'm, see, I'm talking to Jonks. Can you turn it on speaker, Mr. Simpson? There yeah, should be a sure. button inside the okay. thing. Okay. Hey. Hello. Hey, is this? A, you have to still hold the phone though, so that we oh, get okay. the full effect. Uh, Jesus Christ! You know, got to get that production value. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, who is this? I'm speaking to. This is Ted. Hey, Ted. Yeah, that one. Hey, listen, I've got your cellmate here. I, I see you've already been in, in conversation. We're trying to kind of ju just sort of get a general vibe check on him because we're about to potentially grant his wish. Um, What's he asking for? Well, he wants to. He wants a key to kind of unlock the handcuff that's currently holding a severed hand to his wrist. wrist. And uh, I just wanted to know, like, was he a cool guy? And he, is there maybe a personal anecdote you could share that would... Give us a, a sense of his personality. Come on, Ted. Tell him a good story about me. Well, he was cool until today, but, I mean, you know, there was one time, you know, I was kind of misty because, you know, I'm in prison, and uh, I was kind of mistily-eyed looking out the cell window, you know, pressing my face up against the bars. I remember this. And he, uh, he came over, and he um, he started, you remember that movie Beetlejuice? Where sure. they said, Dale! Dale! I remember that. Daylight. Daylight, go man, me one go. Murder! Me say day, me say day, me say day, me say day, me see day. You're making me wish I was back in jail. Yeah, look at you now, not in prison. Ah, jeez. Well, I'm gonna miss you, Ted. You're not coming back? No. Work all night, done, a drink a rum. I'm living on the beach. Ah, classic. Sorry, sorry. No, no, it's clearly not about me today. Love that Listen, song. Ted, these phone calls are very expensive, so we're going to have oh. to let you go. Okay. Uh, but thank you for your input. I think we've we've zeroed in on uh, your cellmate's personality here, Mr. Simpson. Murder's a good guy. Thank you. Good murder. Oh, well, it's interesting you say oh. that. Go ahead and step away from the phone. Oh. Step away from the phone. Step away. Be careful. Watch your step. Well, I guess it doesn't matter all that much right now because the council has paid. To sacrifice you. They're, they're gonna sacrifice me? Yes, roll the bumper. Uh, uh, well, Mr. Simpson. The council has paid, and it seems like some people are upset about it, but the council has paid to sacrifice you, which means that now you will have to convince the council to spend $10 to spare your life, or else be eaten, blood, bones, and all, by me, Jonks. Okay. The floor is yours. Okay, I'm just going to list some titles. Uh, Bridge on the River Kwai, Citizen Kane, Casablanca. These these tapes can be yours. I'll tell you where I, I stored them. Uh, if you don't kill me, there there's enough for everyone. Uh, did I say Casablanca? I said Casablanca. Uh, how green was my valley? That's a good one. Uh, a Clockwork Orange, that's on there as well. 
all these and commercials plenty of commercials in between the movies you get all these classic 90s commercials you have castaway someone's asking about castaway yeah i think they played castaway one time at least once uh wilson remember that i sure do yeah tragic that's a, that's a good that's psycho a good you got psycho i got psycho i got all the hitchcocks baby I got what the, about Con Air? Con, they never played Con Air, and I'm sorry, they don't have. I'm sorry, they don't have Con Air. Uh, you might have to torrent that or something. I hear that that's the big new piracy thing. So these are all on cassettes, buried somewhere. Yeah, yeah, they should be in in uh, my backyard. And so that would mean that we'd have to have a. A VCR to watch these? Yes, you would have to have a VCR. If you don't, I'm sorry. I can't. There's no way of me transferring them. You could maybe go. There's services that do that, though. You got Spy Kids 3D? They did not play that oh. one. That Ooh. came after. We've got a growing blind reporting. spot here in your catalog. Yeah, but the classic movies, though, they have Saving Private Ryan. They got that one in there. Jaws. All Some of the Spielbergs they have. Um, they used to play those. Uh, they're very good. These are very good quality. I bought all the best blank videotapes. Airbud, Sleepless in Seattle. Air, I'm sorry, no. Sleepless in Seattle, yes. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. They do have. But if you kill me, you won't know where these are. You'll never be able to watch them on videotape that I recorded ever again. So. Well, it does seem, Mr. Simpson, that the council is not biting at your offer here and so right. i'm going to give you another let's say 15 seconds to plead your case and I, if the money doesn't come in escape, i'm gonna have to eat you i didn't escape death row just to be eaten by jonks jonks i love you can i take another picture one if for I, the road sure all right uh here's the last shot okay all the all right uh mr simpson uh, your time has elapsed what, what, uh, it's time to eat Oh, come, no, come on! Ah! Oh, no. Guess the last crawdad has sung. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, totally normal, Will. Thank you for that line. Folks, sometimes that's the way it goes. Sometimes a traveler comes up here, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, looking to have their wish realized only to meet their fate in my mouth. <laughs> if you're just joining us, my name is Jonks. I grant wishes at the top of this mountain sometimes. Other times... I eat people. That's just the way it goes. Folks, we're only four subscriptions away from hitting our goal. Let's get it done. Where are those four subs? If we get 15, we're going into outer space, folks. What's cooler than outer space? Ice cold. There you go. Okay. All right, all right. So there's something. Still pretty cool, though. Anyway, folks, I think I see... Our next traveler making their way up my mountain. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Hey. We got a cool guy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Ah. Uh. Hello there, traveler. Hello. Yes. What brings you, you and your dazzling shirt to my mountaintop domain? Thank you. Jogs, you're terrible. Uh, hello, everybody. It's me, Reginald uh, Fairbanks. Dancer extraordinaire, Broadway star, Ben Bereen's understudy, when he could do anything. <laughs> I'm sure that kills in the right circles, Mr. Fairbanks. You know, it do. It do, Jogs. It really do. <laughs> Mr. Fairbanks, what is it that brings you to my mountaintop domain? Uh, well, you know, I'm getting on in years, and I'm not finding that casting people are casting me. So I would love for you, Big Stonehead, to um, just, uh, I wish to be a Broadway star again. You know, I wish. I wish. Sorry, I thought a song was coming, but it was not. Oh, well, actually, 
You know, it's funny you should mention that. It, you know, our council, I'm sure, would love to hear a song. Maybe that would help inspire them to vote your way and, and bring you back to the stage of Broadway. Is there a particular show tune or maybe even original work that you'd like to share with us? Um, I don't share my original work for free. Been burned by that before. Um, I do take requests. If anyone's got a song. Any council member, is there a song? Or if someone wants to donate for an original piece? Yes, pay me money uh, and hear my original whoop. song. Uh, but what, uh, Sweet Caroline is a, <laughs> not really a show Caroline. tune, but we'll take it. The Barney song, okay. Mm. Any show tunes, folks? Wow, is this not the right audience for this? <laughs> Uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time. Mm, there is a Britney musical, but I haven't seen it yet. How Beige Is My Jacket. Okay, it sounds made up. Aquarius. Family Guy theme song. <laughs> greatest Showman. We got two for Greatest Showman. Something from The Greatest Showman. Oh, I will do The Greatest Showman, yes. Perfect. Um... Won't stand right now and this is an us. Won't stand right now with this is us. I love many more in this is us. And she is in this is us. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. Hey, 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 hey. The sound of the drums and it will come. Hey, hey. This is green. This is blue. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Thank you. Wow. Woo. Claps. Claps in the council. Thank you so much. You My know. goodness, Reginald. It's hard to believe that you're not still a star with talent like that. I have to ask, what happened? Did you have some sort of fall from grace? Did you get on the wrong side of the of the scene? Fall from grace. Yeah, I guess it did happen that way. <laughs> you know, me and my sister had a two-person act. And one night we were at the Hotel Cicero, boozing, having a few drinks. Oh, why did you get so blurry? Oh, Am I in focus yet? Maybe it's step too forward. too powerful, the, the shirt. This is crazy. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. This keeps there happening. There we go, you're coming. Oh. You know, I don't even have to be here. I don't have to be oh, here. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. All right, we're back. The shirt is too powerful. Where was I? You were telling us about your sister. You and your sister had a, a two-person show. We had a two-person show, and my husband Charlie would travel around with us. And then we were, one night after the show, we went to the Hotel Cicero, the two of us just boozing, having a good time. Then we ran out of ice, so I ran to the store to get some. And when I came back, my sister Veronica and Charlie were doing a dance move called the Spread Eagle. Oh my god. I don't even want to describe it. I can imagine. And then I don't know what happened, I blacked out when I woke up. Your husband and your sister? Uh-huh. My god. You know the tale. Wait, and so that, what happened, wait, how did you end up disgraced from that? Well... I blacked out when I saw them together, oh. and when I woke up, they were dead. Oh my god! I had nothing to do with it. But for some reason, people think that I did. And so, now I don't get to act anymore. What happened to the ice? <laughs> what happened to the ice? One of, our, one of our council member wants to know what happened to the ice. You... You callous peons. I just told you my sister... And my husband. But did you get the ice? Did I get the ice? Yeah, I got the ice. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Have I ever been late to a show? Never in my life. Wow. So you, so the the town thinks that you're some sort of sick, twisted murderer, mm -hmm. when in reality you are a, a betrayed lover. Who got the ice? Who got the ice? I got the ice, and I've got the adultery. I've got it all. A triple threat. Wow. Okay. Well. Um, <laughs> And so the wish is to is to return to Broadway. Now, is there a particular show that you would like, or a particular role that you'd like to take in Ooh, this return? Yes. Uh, well, I've been a big fan of uh, seeing this uh, Kimberly Akimbo. Uh, fun name to say. Crazy show. I'll tell you about the plot later. I'd love to do that. I could do Jesus Christ Superstar. I'm kind of religious. I could also do Mean Girls, because I am, and, um, I don't know, Book of Mormon, because why not? Oh, so you just want to run the get? you want the whole I want the, the whole, spread. Is, this, is that not what you do? I could, did absolutely. I, did I climb up the wrong mountain? No, 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 that's, uh, that's Should I find global. your hot brothers with their chiseled abs? Here's a question from mm. one of our council members. They want to know, since you definitely aren't the one who killed your husband and definitely sister, not who, are there any leads? Do you have any suspicions on anybody who might have? Well, um... You know, Murder Simpson is on the top of the list, of Murder course. Murder Simpson. 
Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure he's been in prison for the past few decades for stealing movies. <laughs> okay. I mean, where does where does the crime list end, you know? True. If you commit a crime once, you'll probably do it again. If you pirate a movie, what's to say you wouldn't kill two innocent people on the yes. street? Uh, we're also looking into Emily Blunt. Um, oh, really? Any and, particular reason? Well, I mean, no one heard from her that day, so I'm like, what was she doing? That's <laughs> suspicious, you're right. It's pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Um, Pat Sajak. Uh, wow, this is a true, it's an A-list uh, list. Oh, of course. It would only be nothing but the top from my sister and husband. I for suppose. For their killer. Wow. Wow, this is a real sort of true crime. It's got all the elements of a, of a, of a fascinating sort of like Netflix or like, like a really good podcast or something, you know? Yes, can I tell you? Everyone passed. Netflix really? passed on it. Max passed. You try to shop it around? Did you go to like uh, like NPR, like try to do like Serial or something, like a podcast? Those are really big right now. I mean, if it was 2014, sure, but yeah, uh, it's fair, a, little fair. a little 2000 and late, you know? Yeah, I suppose that's right. Yeah, remember, what was that terrible one? Um, S-Town? S-Town. That was, the, oh. that was the sequel. It was okay. Didn't live up to Serial, but it's like, that was a pretty high watermark, you know what I mean? Where do you listen? Do you listen on a speaker? Do you have headphones? Where do they go? Uh, sometimes someone will just like bring their phone up here and put it on speaker and just kind of lay it down and I'll listen to that. Oh, I would never do that. Oh, okay. Well, teach their own. Listen, Reginald. Yes. Uh, we're getting a lot of... Uh, what are these? These are suggestions for... Okay, I'm going to ignore the council for right now. Reginald, what I would like to know is... Are you prepared... Well, first of all, were you were you famous on on Broadway before? Forgive me for not knowing, but I, I guess what I'm wondering is, are you prepared for the pressure that comes with that sort of fame? Am I prepared for the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> the question I've been asked since I was 13 years old, and I wandered on stage during the climax of Hairspray, and I said, "You truly cannot stop the beat." Ever since this whole world began, a woman found out she could shake up, she could shake up a man. So I will shake and shimmy it the best that I can, today and every day. You can't stop the beat. I'm ready for anything, John. You just walked up into the middle of a production of Airspray and started doing that? That's what you have to do these days, John. And what was, the, what was the reaction to that? I'll tell you what, you'll never guess who was in the audience, but Drew Carey. <laughs> he stood up and began the slow clap to end all slow claps. My God, I, at first I thought someone was coughing, but then <laughs> it trickled down the entire theater and everyone said, you, you are the star. And Jesse Tyler Ferguson stood up and said, cut me for Modern Family, I'm a hack. Put him in. Wow. Yes. That is an incredible origin story. Your life is should be its own show. They didn't do that though. No, whoever that is, they did not. That's somebody in line behind you. Ugh. Uh, wow. Wow, this should be its own its own Broadway musical. Your, the story of your life. The Reginald story. Yeah, I'm kind of interesting. Well, uh, did he let you spin the wheel? That's, that's, uh, that's Pat, not, well, wait, Drew Carey, oh yeah, Drew Carey does uh, Price is Right now, right. too. But Pat Sajak, I believe, does Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Not anymore, but he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. We're getting we're getting a lot of support for you and Cats and Baron. Thank, thank you, so you for the sub. We're now only three away, folks. Three away from hitting our goal. What's your favorite show? What's your favorite? My Broadway favorite show? show? Yeah. Musical or just in general? I mean, I would say musical. You can bore me with a straight play, but I really want to hear about the. Musicals. You know, I really like Putnam County Spelling Bee, and I feel like I've never seen it like big. You know, like mm. I've seen small product, never seen it on Broadway, but it's. I feel like it could be really fun, like if you really sort of blew it out, went went all out with it. Wow, okay. I mean, I've always, I'm famously terrible at uh, language and spelling, so it really just stresses me out to see people spell at me. Yeah. Um, but that's great, I've heard great things. It's a fun one. Yeah. Silly, good jokes, good comedy. Hey, speaking of, uh, I can't think of a segue. Hey, you just won an awesome bonus wish. Congratulations, Reginald. Whether or not your wish gets granted Woo. tonight, know that you'll be taking home this Fabulous prize! I can't wait to see it. Ah, it's ah. Loki! Yes, the god of mischief! Ooh. Congratulations, you'll be owning this man! I just get him? You just get him! I can't believe it. You get to do whatever you want with Loki, god of mischief. 
You know, this is actually a true story. I saw Tom Hiddleston on Broadway in the play called Betrayal. Wow! Yeah. How was he? Uh, fine. All right. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I now... Some, I, went, I, went up to, I went up to him after the show and I gave him some pointers about what he should have done. Oh, yeah? Well, what kind of what kind of pointers? Ah, uh, scream, you know? Just a, a guttural, ha! Every now and then. No one screams anymore on stage. Do you You're ever right. notice that? I feel like people are getting bored. They're on TikTok. They're, they're in the audience not paying attention. If you just, in the middle of your line, yell out just like guttural sort of... <gasps> exactly. People are going to be like, what the fuck is happening on stage? I better lock in. I better lock the fuck in. Nobody's looking away if you scream. Damn right. Mm. I'm pretty sure uh, Stanislavski said that. Uh, anyway, Ooh. I don't know. I may have made that up. Listen, here's the thing, Reginald. Yes. I want to grant your wish for fame. But ultimately, it's up to our council. The council of junks who will decide your fate. So now... I'm We're going to pull up a poll. Used to it. Gatekeeping is very big in Broadway, so go ahead. Well, this will be your greatest audition yet, Reginald, because <laughs> I'm going to give you an opportunity now. Sing, do a monologue, whatever you need to do to convince the council to vote your way. The stage is yours, Reginald. Hey, I'm Reginald Fairbanks. I've been over, I have been casted in over two plays in my entire life. But I found a way in to a hundred. I am relentless, and I will never be stopped. So help me by helping yourselves. If you want to stop me, then help me. Give me what I want. Just give me a stage. Most of you aren't even in New York anyway, so I don't know why you give a damn. Give me this thing, and then you'll never see me again. I've been told I'm quite abrasive. So do yourself a favor. Grant me my wish, and let me go. Cha-ching! Oh, a very, very, very promising speech, Reginald. I think, I think you may have won some over in that. But now, Thank you. the true test. We are going to prepare a poll and counsel. It will be up to you to determine the fate. Internet Crow, thank you for the sub. Go ahead, counsel. The polls are open. Will you grant Reginald Fairbanks' wish to become a big Broadway sen sen sensation wow. once okay. again, Ugh. or send him packing? Oh. This is the first election I've ever been a part of, so I cannot wait to see how this turns out. Not a political guy? Absolutely not. I, I truly, I, I, I shut the curtains on election day. Wow, it seems, it seems that this is not as divisive as I thought. It's, oh, 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 oh. oh. Wow, oh my gosh. This is as tense as the climax to Phantom of the Shmopra. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I've seen enough. Close the poll. Although there were some dissenters, Reginald, by a wide margin, our council has decided to grant your wish for fame and fortune on the Broadway stage. You, you all, you all are the stars. I should be watching you, but I won't. Congratulations, Reginald. We are now going to say the magic words, and when we finish, you will be the hottest <laughs> new celeb on Broadway. Oh, God, watch out, Darcy Carden. Here we go. Wibbity wobbity wonks, your wish has been granted by Jonks. Okay. Wibbity wobbity wonks, your wish has been granted by Jonks. Wibbity wobbity wonks, your wish has been granted by Jonks. Congratulations. Thank, oh, thank you. Do you feel the fame coursing through your veins? I do. I feel 12 Tony nominations and one win and one Drama Desk Award, which I will use as a paperweight. So thank you. Incredible. Congratulations, Reginald. Farewell. Farewell. Uh, Jonks, I will... Do you need a check? Do you need something? Nope, I'm good. That's okay. free of charge, baby. Call me sometime. We'll do lunch. Wonderful. We did it, folks. We granted a wish, a wish, but more than that, we hit our goal. Yes, thank you. Thank you to all of our council members, but especially the ones that subscribe tonight. We've hit our goal of 15 subscriptions, and therefore, oh, and thank you for the follow. Thank you. It is now time to wish upon a star your reward for helping us hit our goal of 15 subs. We will now blast off into outer space, where you, the council, will have an opportunity 
to ask for your own wishes to be granted among the stars. I'll see you. Someone says, can you make me big? <laughs> I kind of don't want to touch that one. You talking penis or whole, whole body. Hey, okay, okay. Someone also wants to be big. Lots of people wanting to be big. So I guess, uh, and now I'm seeing curlier penis. All right, I'm going to address all the penis questions right away. So what I do is I take a big, big uh, uh, liter of uh, Diet Coke. And you, you cut off the top and you basically put it on your penis. You could twist it, you could turn it. However you take it off, your penis will remain that shape. Glad I could help uh, since I am a doctor. What else? Uh, 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 there's, uh, okay, okay. Can you make my whole body bigger? Whoa, what a question. Science has not figured it out, but hell, I'll give it a shot. I'll take your top half. Somebody else, someone you trust, will take your bottom. And we will pull. And we will pull until you are big. I'll do anything for you. What else we got here? Can you make the world into a pizza? Hell, I'll try. Let's see. Take out Maury. If I could, I would. I'm not a gun owner. But if I were, Maury would be the first and only shot I would take. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oprah made me, uh, absolutely. Where did I take improv lessons? Chicago, Illinois. Woo. Let's see, is it true you are actually a meat suit? Can't get to it, sorry, but yes.
Oi, it's me, Russell Crowe, star of Gladiator. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grant your wishes. All right, let's see, what's the first one? Let's see. Uh, I wish my fursona was real. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I'll grant, I'll grant you that wish. Do you fight around? I certainly do. You've seen that episode, and I will do it again. Crucify me. You are crucified. <laughs> Pay off my student loan debt. Well, I'm trying to. Loved you in Gladiator, thank you. Can I get a good singing voice like you? Oh, no, sorry, that's only mine. Can you help my friend with his horse meat addiction? Well, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll help him out with that. Just uh, try to eat something else. <laughs> I wish that everyone was a little less sad forever. Hmm, that's a nice wish. I, yes, I was very sad when I was in Gladiator. Mr. Crow, do you ever hang out with Robin? I don't know who Robin is. I'm guessing Batman's friend. Uh, no, I never do, but I'll grant that wish. I wish for the blue M&Ms to be green. Well, okay, you can, we can do that. Whistle Thistle 366, uh, you said it. Yes, Batman's friend, can you delete the oil? Wish granted no more oil, not even olive oil. Not a fan of but Go all the way to space and get try eating something else. Yes, that's that's my advice. I'd wish you eat a crow because of my name. Yes, I'd wish that too. I'll try it. LeBron James, um, in the stars, here to grant your wishes. Okay. Is anyone, does, hello? Hello? I wish, were you bang my mom? Done. Mr. James, make me horizontal. Cool. Uh, cartoons are real? Space Jam. Uh, I wish your kid didn't make it to the NBA? Great, I'll break his ankles. I wish I could go to the Cavs, please. You got it, take it in the mail. Um, whistle thistle, so many questions. Hey, Mr. Brown, can you help me snake my bathroom drain? No can do, buddy. Last time I did that, I blew up a building. I wish Thanos won. He did. Just stop after Infinity War. Don't keep going. Can you bring Kobe back? Wow, dark. Uh, I wish you'd retire. Me too, but I love shmoney. I wish my dogs could only whistle and not bark. Done. Make me a goat. Bye. Fuck, man, I need a hand here. Whistle Thistle is 3,000 jam. LeBron, can we Freaky Friday with each other for a day? Absolutely. Who are you? Can you slam dunk from half court? Hell yeah. I wish for a rib witch. Uh, I wish for you to flop more. Man, me too, but I'm too good at sports. I can't with LeBron. The fuck? Can we make Lola hot again? You mean Nola? Platonic hug. That's for you. LeBron, Space Jam 3, we are watching right now? Yes, it is. How about those Warriors, huh? Warriors, now streaming on Max. I wish that the Earth was shaped like a donut. Kind of is. LeBron, can you speak on the NBA and CCP? Yeah, you know me. I wish you were my dad. Check the birth certificate. What tickets? Tickles? I love tickles. I wish for love. I wish for hugs. All right, that's it for me. I'm gonna go shoot the b-ball. <laughs> Hola, me amo Bad Bunny. <laughs> Sus preguntas yo quiero ahora. Uh, I wish for gigantic balls, yes. 
uh, granted, a lot of people would say that it takes big balls to perform in front of big old stadiums. It's muy difícil a cantar uh, in frente de todos los países donde yo canto uh, en todos los días, todos los semanas del año. Ha ha. Um, Christ, that's not a question. Bad Bunny, how is Kendall's horse? I wish for all of her money. Oh, am I dating Kendall Jenner? That's fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, she's so cool. It's not for clout. It's not for clout. But yes, granted. Uh, I wish Corey Feldman was your dad. I, I guess granted. He seems like okay, right? He seems a little frazzled, but understandably so. I mean, he's been through a lot. Uh, hey, Bad Bunny, can you do a song with Drake from Drake and Josh? Uh, C. Uh, Drake and Josh son, son mis amigos por, you know, me... I, you know, mi vida in total, you know? Uh, I have no idea who you are, and I, I frankly know very little about me also. Um, hey, Bad Bunny, how do you say Los Feliz? Los, fi, los fe, fi, le, Feliz. feliz. <laughs> granted. Not a wish, but granted. Can you teach me Spanish? Granted. Uh, lesson numero uno. Uh, gracias por su tiempo means thank you for your time in Espanol. I'm very sexy. I don't know if you knew that. I don't know if this played. Okay, bye. It's me, Gene Simmons from KISS. I'm here to answer your questions from the stars. Okay, okay. Hey, somebody said good improv, Grant. Nice job, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wish KISS wasn't a band that existed. Too bad we're gonna exist long before you're alive. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I wish I have a tongue as long as yours. Granted, how big is it? My tongue or my penis? Cause my tongue is longer. Uh, do you, like, what is happening? I wish my tongue was a mile long. Granted! That will be amazing. Okay. I wish to be squeezed like a bottle of ketchup. Been there, wanted that. Heard, I've heard of that before. Do you, uh, do you ever think about doing a follow-up interview with NPR's Terry Gross? I can't because we have had sex before and I cannot go back in there. Yeah. She has gotten a little look, of, a little licky of the gene, okay? And I can't go back on NPR. I, I, and the same, and I did the same thing with the uh, Ira Glass. What, what else? Okay, I wish you would say, Los fellas. All right. Um, what's my favorite smell? A woman. <laughs> um, doesn't matter. Dirty or clean, it's a woman. Um, okay, I wish, okay. I wish for weapons of mass destruction. Not granted. Sorry. I wish to rock on. Granted. I wish for happy feet to be real. It is real. All those penguins are still dancing. They're begging for peace. Uh, okay, I wish my Bubby would make a good kugel. Hey, listen, I bet she does. Give it a try. Um, yep, and rock on. <laughs> Travelers, I mean council members. Welcome back, council members. Did you enjoy your trip to outer space? Woo! Cool. <laughs> Sounds like you did. Well, 
Uh, it seems like we're nearing the end of our journey here today, council members, but thank you all for joining me tonight. If you've... If you're just joining us right now, this is nearing the end, but my name is Jonks. I live at the top of this mountain. Travelers come from far and wide to visit me, hoping that their wishes will be granted, but thankfully, you, the council, are also here to help me interview them and vote to determine whether or not their wishes are granted. We hit our $15, or I mean 15 sub subscription goal. Uh-oh, I got some indigestion here. Hold on. I feel something coming on back up. Let me find the button for that. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, pardon me. Um, but yes, thank you. Oh, what is this? A poll. Are we granting Jonks' line producer's wish? Wait, why is that already? Let's stay in the wide. Can we stay in the wide? Thank you. Yeah, we can. Uh, hey, Jonks, what's up? Wait, who are you? Uh, it's me, your line producer, Lance. Lance? Yeah, Lance. Your Wait, line producer. line producer? What does that mean? Uh, I mean, I basically do a lot of this stuff. For okay. The show, for the show. Well, what, uh... Like, you know all the stuff that's happening in the show? Yeah, you know, like the poll that's over right your now? head right now? The, yeah, that, yeah, I do that. I, get, I wrangle the talent. I kind of do... What's the... People are voting already, but what's the wish? Uh, well, you know, it, it. everybody knows it's sort of an open secret in the, in, in the industry. You know, there's been a lot of blind items about how uh, you're kind of a tyrant. A tyrant? You're hard to work for. Why? What, what makes me hard to work for? You ask for lattes, and they have to be so big. Well, yeah, I mean, is that really my fault? I'm a big guy. Well, it's your fault when, you know, when we come with like 10 Starbucks lattes that are all grande or really big in the way they say it. It means large, but it's how they say it there. When we bring you 10 of those, you're like, can you put them in one big cup? And we keep saying they don't make cups that big. And well, surely there's like a bucket around or something that we could pour them into. I just, it doesn't seem to me okay, like well, it's that we, big of an okay, ass. Okay, oh, so now that the camera's on, you're going to play that game. Look, we brought you a bucket. You remember, we brought you a bucket and you freaked out. Well, it was gross. No one cleaned it. It looked like it had been used to like Who cleans buckets, Jonks? I don't know. People who are about to serve a beverage in it? Anyway, Jonks, my wish, and then I'm going to run over to hit the button for the end thing. My wish, Jonks, and it looks like it's going to get granted, is for you to become Ellen DeGeneres. Wait, hold on. Somebody who's generous oh, and nice. Wait. Someone generous? Oh, we got to kill me. Oh, we're going to kill you. Oh, looks like that wish is not happening. Looks like we're killing your ass. Uh, well, okay, can you cut to the... Yeah, let me see how this is going to work. But we ought to close the poll, otherwise this is going to be a whole hey, mess. Hey, Derek. There's... <laughs> Derek, can you close the there's poll? A, there's a thing, there's a tab that reads... That re This is me doing line producing right now. There's a tab that reads... It's like the poll. Can you uh, see the poll? Yes. Can you see the button that reads end poll? Yeah. Double click that. Finish poll. Click that. Okay. Yep, yep. and then and one then more time. Again. Okay. To, that'll close it fully out. Yeah, yeah, yep. hide it. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Derek. Pretty typical. It's pretty typical. I remember the first. I remember like the first week I worked for you. You threw hot liquid in my face. Well, listen. This was not my decision, right? It's the council who decided to sacrifice you. Oh, I have no control. I, I wasn't no even control. aware that you. Oh, I worked know, I, here. I can't. I have no control. I have no power. Sure. All right, man. It's fucking typical. All right. Well, we got to end the show. I mean, it's basically the t the show is basically over here. You know, this I worked for Letterman. Button. You know, I worked for Letterman. Okay. Just something I like to mention. Well, that's. I mean, hey, look, that's. He was that's kind of cool. A, he was kind of a prick too, but like, I don't know. Hey, you ever hear that expression? If you meet one asshole, you met one asshole. That's if you true. meet a bunch of assholes, maybe you're the asshole. That's true everywhere, but get ready for the button. That's I'm going to run over and hit the button after you, K. That's true everywhere but the film industry. <laughs> and now... Long walk over to the... Long room. walk. Grant is walking around the entire room. Do we should I pretend to have been eaten? Uh, I'll do that. Go. Do the thing. Uh, there you go. Oh. Flawless. Oh. Now just end the show.
Whoa, folks! <laughs> Thanks! Oh, the blood splatter's still there. I like it. Um, I like it, I'm actually. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get rid of that. All right, we'll just have some crunching sounds. Uh, folks, thank you so much for joining us. We are the Everything Now Show. Welcome to all the new people. Please disregard the sound of Jonks crunching on Grant's dead body. Uh, it's still going? Um, we are the Everything Same Now the Show. Lights. We do this show four nights a week for some reason. Four nights? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. So if you enjoyed this show, great news. Come on back. What's today? Monday? Monday, so come back. Come tomorrow. on back tomorrow night. And, yeah, you're thinking Fourth of July. They're gonna take that day off, and you know what? Wrong. This, and, and you know, what, what took us by surprise? The number of people in the LA comedy scene who are ostensibly like that hate America and their right to do so, who suddenly had things on the fourth, who suddenly were busy on the fourth, and we had to like really work to get some people to come. Couldn't on the be fourth. us. Couldn't be us. Crazy. We've got two wonderful guests who are coming on tomorrow night. You're not gonna want to miss it. So join uh, the Discord for information on how that's gonna happen. All the images submitted tonight, all the bonus wishes, those are submitted by you, the viewers at home. You can only do that in the Discord, which is linked in the chat. So click the link, join the Discord, come on back tomorrow night, submit images. We might use yours in the show. Follow us on all these various social platforms, especially check out this YouTube because every single episode, all 400 plus episodes of Everything Now Show are on the YouTube. So if you want to go see what else we've done besides Jonks, go check that out. They're all right there. Tomorrow's show won't be Jonks. It will be something completely different, but it will still be live interactive comedy that you're not going to want to miss. And every single show of the Everything Now show has special, wonderful guests. Tonight was no different. Come Let's on bring them out. out. Jordan, Damon, and Derek. Thank you. 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 Nice. Wonderful guests. Thank you so much for being wonderful guests on tonight's show. Is there anything that you want to tell the viewers at home? Anything you want to plug? Any messages you want the world to know? Go ahead and let them know one at a time or all at once. Let's do it all Three, at once. Three, two, two, one. So, so, okay. so uh, uh, at the UCB uh, Theater uh, next Friday, or this Friday oh, on right. July 7th, it's we called should. You're Cordially Invited at UCB, that's 10 p.m. And, and then next week on Twitter. July 13th, and now, Thursday, one at a time. Great. This Friday at the UCB Theater, You're Cordially Invited is the name of the show, and you're also invited. It's called You're Cordially Invited. It's a wedding-themed show. I'll be doing a toast with my comedy partner, Elizabeth Andrews. Hi, Elizabeth. You're not watching. And then next Thursday, I'll be she, I don't she know why she's hates me. Uh, and then next Thursday... I'm doing stand-up at UCB at a show called Conversion Camp, 10 oh. p.m. I cannot be stopped. Go check those out. Are they going to be plugged on your Instagram? Can people find that information on your Instagram? 100%. Thank you. Yes, they will. Yeah, for the people outside LA, you have a podcast as well. Is that a podcast? Oh, my gosh. Yes, please. More people need to listen to it. Uh, I do a podcast called Podcast 616. I get comedians, and we talk about Marvel movies, and sometimes how they're good, and sometimes how they're, most of the time, how they're not good. Um, but it's really fun, and we play Fuck, Mary Kill at the end of Follow us on that. Instagram. There's a link in the chat. I'm going to replug it. Give him the ENS bump and go check out those shows if you're in town. Jordan, what do you have to tell the people? Yes, I mean, I've got a show on Sunday at the UCB. If you're like, actually, fuck Damon's show. I want to go to another show at the UCB. I have one on Sunday. It's an improv show. The best improv team in the whole world, Cook County Social Club. We're opening. My team is opening for them. I'm not saying I'm in the best team of all time. I, you know what? We're all right. But we're opening for Cook County. It's going to be a great show. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm not really on Twitter I because... Well, yeah. Um, and yeah, just keep supporting these damn guys doing the whole damn thing. Absolutely. Cool. Support us guys doing the whole damn thing. Derek. That's right. Tell Not the much. people. Not much to promote, but you can follow me on 
uh, Instagram and Twitter, and I want to promote a little holiday called July 4th. No! Independence Day. Stop. It's no, happening no, no. tomorrow. Get a burger, hang out, watch some fireworks. I wasn't until now. You heard the man. Folks, follow all these wonderful people. Please go do it. Give them the Everything Now Show bump. It makes us look cool and influential when you do. Follow all three of these people on Instagram and follow us on all these social platforms. You'll see cool highlight clips. You'll get up-to-date information on the guests in the show. All the best stuff happens when you follow. And definitely join the Discord, folks. There's Creative Steve will say good morning to you. You can see pictures of my breakfast sometimes. Well, you'll know who the guests are for the shows. And you can submit images that we use on the show. You can't do that anywhere freaking else, guys. Join the Discord. Do it. Do you raise T-Pain? No, no. Oh, <laughs> T-Pain has too many, too many people already. Get, okay. Let's show some he love. He only has 500 people watching right? That is a lot. Nah. Um, no, thanks. Yeah, let's send him over to our good friend Tom Thinks. Show Tom some love. Uh, give Tom our best. Say hi from the Everything Now Show, boys. And come on back tomorrow night. Same time, same place. Brand new episode, Not Jonks, interactive live stream comedy. And see you in the Discord. Jace for big events. T-Pain does shout outs to Raiders, says Naked Comedy. Maybe we should raid T-Pain. Well, now it's too late. We're raiding Tom. Too late. We're raiding I Tom tried. Thanks. I tried. Next time. Goodbye. Bye, Bye everybody. And stream and record. Yeah. Great. Don't forget. Woo! Woo!